Hello and welcome again. Today we look at this question from a past IB Chemistry paper 1. What is the enthalpy of combustion of butane in kilojoules per mole for this reaction? And you're given these three reactions to work with and of course your four answers here. Uh, noting that kilojoules per mole in the actual exam question was put in bold type. Here I've highlighted it in red because it's the key to actually getting the correct answer to this question. And because it's kilojoules per mole, and not just kilojoules, it means that you've got to examine the reaction that you're working with. And here you'll see it involves two moles of butane. And the question is, what is the enthalpy of combustion of butane in kilojoules per mole? So it means immediately you have to know that at the end, your answer would have to be divided by two. So there are two things you can do. You can go ahead and do the cancellation method and then divide the final answer by two. Or you can start off by dividing this equation by two. So let's divide this entire equation by two. And then this two would disappear, becoming a one, of course. This 13 would become 13 divided by two, which is six and a half oxygens. This eight would become four carbon dioxides and this 10 would become a 5. Now once you have that then you can move into the cancellation method and if you need some help with the cancellation method you can return to my previous video lesson on that by clicking on the card above. Looking at this, this and this, these three must be manipulated and then the cancellation method must be carried out so that you'd end up with the equation that you seek. So the cancellation method means you're going to have to manipulate these three equations, uh, reversing them if needed, multiplying them if needed, so that what would be left standing after you've cancelled would be the very things in the reaction in question. So, first of all we look at butane, which is the molecule in question that we've got to calculate the enthalpy of combustion for. And butane is found here on the product side of this equation. So we need to reverse this equation first of all to put butane on this side. So let's rewrite this equation. And it becomes C4H10 to give 4C solid plus 5H2 gas and then not to forget that delta H would have to become negative Z so once we have that then we need to look at the other equations now and seek out where we'll find the oxygen the carbon dioxide and the water so we've got the butane where we, where we need to have it the next thing that we need is oxygen and here you've got half of an oxygen and here you've got one oxygen so we need to do some multiplying then so that we'll eventually end up with six and a half oxygens. So before we do that, we can also look at, we need to get four CO2 and five H2O. So let's choose the H2O. And if we put a five here, then we'll have to put a five here. So five multiplied by a half is going to make this two and a half and then it's going to make that 5. Then the CO2s, let's work with that. That needs a 4. So we put a 4 here, 4 here, and a 4 here. And then, most likely, things would be ready for cancellation. So let's take a look at the cancellation. Remembering that you can only cancel things on the reactant side with things on the product side. So you've got four carbons here, and that would cancel with these four carbons from this reversed equation. You've got five hydrogens here, and that would cancel with these five hydrogens here. Remember, this equation was the one that was rewritten. And what you are left with is six and a half oxygens, butane, four CO2, and five H2. So now it's just about getting the sum of everything, because you've already divided by two for this equation. It's going to be negative z. This equation here, which was multiplied by 4, 4x, 
and this equation here which was multiplied by 5 becoming 5y so we're going to have to look for 5y 4x minus z in our answer and that is provided by answer A. The most popular distractor or wrong answer for this question is likely to be C, where everything is multiplied by 2, because students would have neglected the fact that this is kilojoules per mole, and then, of course, they wouldn't have divided everything by 2.